we finally have confirmation on the brand new legendaries coming to rise of kingdoms legendary joan of arc which we've been waiting for forever and john ziska a brand new legendary coming to the game so today we're going to talk about both of them so both joan of arc and john ziska are cavalry commanders so apparently we are skipping the leadership cycle right now which is very unusual we haven't done that in a very long time however does that mean our next cycle is infantry because if that is what it means then oh my god i have to start saving sculptures because that's going to be crazy anyway joan of arc is cavalry versatility and support very good trees on her the talents are going to be great basically the same as saladin for example and john ziska is actually a garrison commander cavalry garrison and skill so this is really interesting and i want to talk about john ziska first okay we'll talk about joan in a minute so stay tuned for that but if you like learning about these new commanders as soon as they're revealed go ahead and drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel for more okay let's talk about the active skill on john ziska one-eyed knight and boy he looks sick okay i do like the uh the design of this commander for sure so he deals skill damage to the target troop of 2200 when this commander's troop has fewer than 50 percent of units remaining this skill deals an additional skill damage of 250 so very small modifier there not that big of a deal but it does bring it up to 2450 which is kind of crazy especially when you consider that in a garrison scenario you're going to be constantly reinforced and this uh you know the the captain of that garrison is going to drop below 50 percent relatively quickly and it's going to stay there for the remainder of the the rally so you're basically going to be getting 2450 for a majority of the skill cycles on this guy which is absolutely nuts let's move on to his second skill cavalry units led by this commander gain 15 percent attack this is anywhere in the garrison in the field doesn't matter when troops are garrisoned cavalry units defense is increased by 15 percent and skill damage dealt is increased by 10 percent overall i would say that this is a very generic second skill in this scenario you're literally only getting 15 percent attack in the open field so really this is not great for players that aren't in a garrison okay this skill immediately makes me think of yadviga and i think that we finally have a really solid pair for yadviga yes of course people have been using her in the garrison but she has the mobility tree which is absolutely a joke perhaps John Ziska primary with the Advega secondary is going to be the new cavalry meta for garrisons do I think that cavalry garrison is going to take meta probably not I think infantry will still continue to be garrison meta but you now have an extremely powerful counter to Boudica Henry which is very very good okay now the other thing that makes me think of Yadviga here is that she also has a bonus to skill damage on her fourth skill so John Ziska primary with Yadviga secondary you're gonna get a lot of extra skill damage and honestly John Ziska is already hitting like an absolute truck so this pair is definitely looking pretty promising looking at the third skill it says troops led by this commander take 10 percent less normal attack damage when troops are garrisoned and take skill damage they have a 50 percent chance to remove all normal buffs from the attacker this dispel effect can trigger once every eight seconds now i don't exactly know what normal buffs are but if i were to take a guess i would say that it's probably stat modifiers so you know something like ysg for example for the next three seconds they gain 100 percent increased attack it seems to me that this would be considered a normal buff so that could be really powerful especially because it has a 50 percent chance of popping and i mean we'll just have to wait and see how much of an impact that makes but it could be huge depending on how wide the umbrella is for normal buffs taking a look at his fourth skill it says cavalry units have 20 percent more health when launching a normal attack they have a 10 percent chance of gaining a buff that increases their normal attack damage dealt by 20 percent for three seconds this effect can trigger once every eight seconds so this is not only very tanky with a bonus to health on top of the bonus to defense that we saw here on the second skill and on top of again looking at Yadviga as a pairing you would also have another 20 percent of health on there and another 20 percent of defense I mean we really are just stacking up the stats with this combination which looks absolutely insane but on top of that you just have a small chance of dealing more damage for three seconds which is very very good I mean John Ziska seems to be like the best of both worlds here where he's dealing an absolutely massive single target nuke 
and he's dealing decent normal attack damage as well but if we take a look at his expertise you'll see that it gets even crazier because his skill damage goes up to 2400 base and when he drops below 50 percent that 250 damage factor turns into a three unit aoe hit now unfortunately this image is cut off so i don't know if that 250 damage factor is bumped up at all but it honestly doesn't matter the fact that it already has increased single target damage and you now hit three targets even if it's only 250 still that's still very very nice you just get some bonus aoe damage to people that are standing too close to that garrison and it's going to be pretty punishing either way which is very very good so again I do think that a John Ziska primary Yadviga secondary is probably going to be the new meta for countering a Boudicca Henry however there's never really been a time where Cavalry Garrison has been the Garrison meta so I don't think that we should expect that from this pair even though it does look very promising and this also cannot be a mixed garrison whereas that's kind of where Zenobia YSS shines it's just you throw anything into that and it will hold pretty well this is really dependent on being full cavalry so if you do plan on rallying with cavalry you're probably not going to have enough troops to also garrison with cavalry moving on to Joan of Arc her active skill says deal skill damage to up to three targets in a forward facing fan shaped area with a damage factor of 2000 each additional troop reduces this by 15 percent that's pretty standard this commander's troops and two surrounding friendly troops also deal five percent more damage for three seconds and gain an additional 20 rage per second so that's a total of 60 extra rage i think that extra damage modifier and rage bonus is very nice now the rage bonus isn't as nice as william here however william is conditional on hitting multiple targets whereas joan of arc just you get it every single time the skill pops but i gotta say the more skills that come in the game that give you and your allies extra rage the less valuable the horn of fury seems to be so if you're thinking about crafting the horn of fury you might want to wait a little bit and reconsider based on the number of these commanders you have i'm not saying the horn is bad i'm just saying that as time goes on it seems like there's just more ways to get rage do you really need the horn if there's all these ways to get rage from you and your allies besides that a 2000 damage factor aoe is very solid we love to see it moving on to the second skill cavalry units led by this commander gain 20 percent attack and 10 percent march speed outside of alliance territory cavalry units march speed is increased by an extra 10 percent and all units deal bonus normal attack damage now i don't actually have that percentage as of the time of recording this because this uh, they, they have to scroll down here on this image and i don't have that honestly i think the value of this skill will depend on this percentage itself because if this is five percent normal attack damage that's not crazy if it's 50 percent normal attack damage then oh my god realistically 20 percent bonus attack is i would say standard for a commander but nothing crazy next we can take a look at the third skill that's return of the saint which immediately made me think of return of the mac but anyway cavalry units led by this commander deal five percent more damage when attacking troops okay solid five percent extra damage when using skills troops led by this commander gain a buff that increases normal attack damage by 30 percent for one second this effect can trigger once every five seconds uh I don't know I mean that's solid right it's a really nice normal attack damage buff it's like they're paying homage to the fourth skill on a regular Joan except this is just better because you get 25 percent forever I don't know how I really feel about this um it's it, it's it's only for one one second I don't know this skill this third skill doesn't seem super good to me unless we're missing something here moving on to the fourth skill it says cavalry units led by this commander have 10 percent more health while on the map when the secondary commander of their troop uses is an active skill they have a 100 chance to cast sacred banner i'm assuming that's the primary skill here because of the image uh the picture here doesn't actually say what it's called but this effect can trigger once every 10 seconds so a very long cooldown there if your skill cycle is too fast you will miss this and it'll go every other skill cycle so 10 percent health is nice but uh it's nothing like game breaking however the second part of the skill is interesting to me because this is an instant proc of the 2000 damage factor aoe which is very good and 
bonus rage bonus damage right so you do want this to fire off as many times as possible uh but again this the way that this is worded is it says when the secondary commander uses an active skill then she will cast her active skill so if she is the secondary commander can her active skill trigger her own active skill and if it does it would cannibalize its own buff right like you would probably lose uh you this would it would basically turn this into a four second buff right because on the turn that this skill go on the turn that the skill pops you would get the buff which would trigger also the fourth skill and then on the next turn the fourth skill would fire her active shot again uh so you just get two basically two three target aoe nukes and you you know it would obviously overlap for two out of the three turns so i would say that even if this does trigger while joan is the secondary you probably want joan to be the primary because then she'll cast her active skill there'll be a turn of downtime and then the secondary commander will cast their active skill which will then cause joan to cast her active skill again and so you'll gain the maximum amount of uptime from this little bonus damage and rage here. and that's kind of a bummer because I would have loved to use Joan of Arc as a secondary um I think that she's going to be a primary target in the open field people are going to see Joan of Arc and they're going to be like oh yeah she needs to go uh, and we're going to talk a little bit more about pairings for her in a second but let's talk about the expertise here it says troops led by this commander deal five percent more counterattack damage uh when the target troop has more than 30 percent units remaining troops led by this commander deal five percent more damage so again very solid here uh especially because when the target troop has more than 30 percent most troops have more than 30 percent in the open field right so this is basically a constant five percent damage buff until they get down into the low yellows and reds um but besides that five percent more counterattack damage is like that's that's fine right i i love her active skill and i love that this fourth skill gives you an instant proc of that active skill but again i think how good she is is going to be based on the extra normal attack damage on this second skill if this number is very big i think joan of arc is going to be very good in the open field if this is very small i would say that overall she's a, a solid commander i mean it, you can let me know in the comment section below if i'm wrong about that but 20 percent of attack and we have 10 percent of health when on the map overall that's it's it's less stats that we've seen other commanders come out with lately um and she does again gain a lot of extra damage right so we have cab damage here we have all damage here we have counter attack and all damage here and we get one second of 30 percent normal attack damage so there's a lot of just like overall damage modifiers here that maybe will compensate for the fact that she doesn't have that many extra stats but again with this skill I feel like you are going to want her as primary commander if you want the maximum amount of uptime for these little modifiers here which as soon as you know as soon as she came out people were saying oh like xy primary Joan of Arc secondary is going to be super busted I disagree uh I think that XY Joan is you know it's going to have really insane skill cycles and skill damage but there's just not enough tankiness on Joan here to uh really justify pairing her with somebody so uh frail as as XY so again the, the damage output of that March would be ridiculous but people already target XY as it is and if, if the secondary is Joan like you're, you're getting swarmed down instantaneously I, I just I don't think that that would be a, a good strategy and again in that combination you would need XY primary which means this you're not going to get as much uptime with Jones bonuses here on her active skill it when this fires off so and again there's a cool that was a 10 second cooldown there so even with a fast skill cycle it's not like you're going to get to like abuse this right now I know most people use Saladin as a primary myself included but I feel like a Joan primary Saladin secondary might actually be really nice right you have the aoe with joan you have basically the same trees here obviously conquering is better than what joan has but re realistically you're still gaining the benefits of the support tree which is what you really wanted with salad and primary anyway you're getting that 20 percent of defense which you need and you're also taking 30 percent less skill damage and 20 percent less counter attack damage so you're adding a bit of tankiness to joan which i think is what she will need especially if she's primary people are going to focus her like there's no tomorrow Tomorrow. even somebody like William I don't think brings enough tankiness to justify doing like a Joan William for example while that would be extremely supportive tons of extra rage both have AoE it would be very nice 
again i don't think that that would be a great combo because of how easily you would just get swarmed down as joan so really joan wants a a very tanky secondary and i don't know who that tight and tanky secondary would be we'll just have to wait and see again we don't really know what that second skill is all about so i can't wait to see what she does in game is she a must-have commander I, I don't know again there's still a couple of variables that i don't know at the time of recording this but she is definitely an open field commander and any commander with this amount of aoe plus rage plus damage is going to be exceptionally good now i guess i should also talk about nevsky right as a possible pairing and i think that this is obviously an absolutely insane combination he does give you a lot of health and defense so certainly tanky just like saladin however again if you do Joan with Nevsky I'm just the thing with with this right is that I just feel like Joan is going to be so targeted she's just going to be so because people already have in their minds to hit the purple Joan of Arc right if you see purple Joan primary in the open field this is like the number one target because you know it's easy kills so if you see the legendary version of Joan even if it's not as you know even if it's not like the same commander I feel like instinctively people are just going to go for it right they're just going to be like oh Joan of Arc and for good reason right like these skills are very good you would want to get this out of the way right so uh, again does that mean like you you know you you have tankiness on Nevsky right which is going to be great but do you want your Nevsky to be instantly swarmed that's the other thing right like so I'm just I'm very worried about this about this combo um I feel like I'm still going to want to do Nevsky William and then maybe Joan Saladin and of course obviously that's not going to reduce the chance that she gets swarmed but you know at least I'm not losing my Nevsky if she does while still also adding the tankiness that I think she's going to need to maximize the benefit of her being around longer with that being said I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below what do you think of Joan of Arc and good old John Ziska over here while you're down there don't forget to drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace